Hi all, this is Gamariel Das and where did we leave in the last video? And we faced some uh, crucial stuff. As I said in the previous video, three of my team members, they stepped back just uh, 20 days before the hackathon. But we got a mail uh, stating that we can uh, replace with three new members. Let me tell you something more interesting. We had lost the entire product code which we had built for the first six months. Then comes the 36 hour hackathon. So the next day the hackathon was inaugurated by uh, Dr. Miles Sami right, the moon man of India. And he's also specifically told about our idea. Maybe verification. Connectivity maybe may not be Which is basically uh, an alternative for OTP. In his initial speech itself that we are waiting for a solution for that idea especially. For an OTP alternative, we built a QR based authentication system. The one question which the judge asked were unable to answer. What will the people with button phones do? The late night, around 12 hours have already passed and we have got uh, no idea now and we were like uh, brainstruck that okay, it's done, we are, uh, it's the end. But all of a sudden a spark. Yes, the spark. So I think without further delay, let's directly rush into the video. But all of a sudden a spark, a spark of an idea came out because in the olden days we know that we have uh, the button phones where we can get uh, the bank balances, the mobile SIM recharge just by typing codes star 994 hash or whatsoever we will be getting the details. It is typically an offline mode of authentication that is getting online data. That's where we thought why can't we do something with that. That is when we started researching a lot. One thing we did here is that we didn't just rush up into the idea of just coming to know. It is basically called as USSD. And uh, what we did is we started working out on how we can make it possible. What are the different stuff that can be done and this that we did the SWOT analysis. We prioritized all the features and by the meantime it has already crossed the 20 hour mark, 24 hour mark and the next day has already come and it was the time for the second round. And the second round of evaluation was scheduled at uh, 10 a.m. in the morning and we were already having a preconceived state that this is what we are going to do. We had a clear idea. We haven't started working by that time for the product to be honest. We had a clear idea on what we are going to do and that's all. So in the pitch for the second idea, we told in detail that what we are going to do and uh, the judges were quite amazed on our idea because what our idea was in that button phone logic we are going to bring uh, as an offline mode of authentication in such a way that even without internet we can log into a website with 100% authentication and authorization and uh, what uh, one tricky question which uh, the judges asked during that time was uh, it ha USSD has been something that is there for 10 years why people have not used that yet he told us to prove one more concept to do a bank transaction between two accounts just by USSD to prove that it is highly secured. Apart from that, we need to show the product demo in the next round. And now we have done all the plans. We have split up all the features, what are to be done, what are to be done next. And we had a good team actually. So that as I said, even though it's a reformed team, each one of them were at their beast mode. So we had a proper division of tasks. We had a proper intervals between each tasks and we had a proper timeline management because we had just eight hours remaining now for the final round and we had to complete the product within that short span of time so what we did is we had a conversation with the judges who were already there in the location on our idea because ussd is something which in india we cannot directly access from the government only if you are a company or you are a government-based organization you can get access to ussd and uh, we talked about it to the judges and they told that okay it's fine in the future stages maybe drdo can sponsor for that but for now we need to show a working model so we started working on the prototype so be specific here we were not asked for the product we were asked for the prototype just because it was not possible to deploy that no matter what in that point of view so we started building the product and at the stage we were able to complete up to 80 percentage of the prototype not uh, 100 percentage we were able to complete up to 80 percent of the prototype that was just uh, an hour before the final round so we have done all the works that are to be done now how our system will work is that 
you have a website in front of you you are going to put your details there you are just going to go and click on authenticate and you will be getting a code there star 484 hash or something like that all you need to do is just take your phone and type that code even if you are in airplane mode automatically the site will get logged in this is how we were able to build a system we couldn't take it to high security or stuff like that we built a simplified system to make the process understand apart from that we made a simple architecture and a simple presentation for the pitch so just as how much the uh, coding round is important the more important is the final presentation which you are going to build spend at least 2 hours for the presentation like what exactly you need to pitch because the final round is just going to be about 8 minutes in 8 minutes you need to pitch your product you need to show the demo the judges queries everything should finish in just 8 minutes and uh, you can finish in 8 minutes only if you have a proper practice of what you are going to do so be specific of the problem be specific of what solution you are providing to the problem a neat and clean architecture this is the architecture which we showed actually a simplified architecture without much uh, complexity and uh, the features the best features of your product what you are offering the security or whatever stuff something that could impress the judge so the time we were pitching we arranged uh, uh, laptops in three we arranged three laptops one laptop was for the pitch one laptop was for the architecture one laptop was for the demo to ensure that there was no complexity in the judges to understand the product and that was one good thing which we did because the judges were able to navigate between the laptops to understand what we were saying by the meantime we did a bank transaction so i and my partner we both were uh, having indian bank accounts so through ussc we did a bank transaction as well that justifies the security of the product and we received good feedback back in the final round as well and uh, this is the third round especially in uh, smart india hackathon we can have the fourth round which is basically i forgot what's the name i it's power up round or something like that two or three teams will be shortlisted from this set of teams uh, if they are like on the same level of scores and the winner will be announced this is how it works but in acs college of engineering the fourth round was not conducted the total of three rounds only was given and the aggregate of the three rounds were to be announced as the winner and all the hardships which we faced before coming to the hackathon no one thought we could win even we thought we couldn't win to be honest we just came that uh, we should not give up just for that factor we came and then came the result announcement moment and uh, i forgot the ma'am's name she was announcing the winners and she was giving all the free talks about uh, the hackathon and stuff and then came the moment and the winner of team name is Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, we proved the world wrong that with willpower nothing is impossible. Every pain and effort was worth it. This swashbuckling victory is a slipper shot to all who wanted to see us lose. Take a bow, my rampaging team. Kill them with your success, bury them with your smile. It was a pure goosebumps moment for us, one of the best in our lives which words cannot express. It's a kind of game, right? Like we will have a winner, we will have a loser or stuff like that. It's never a loser, that's the thing here. You are either a winner or a learner. That is how it works. And we were ready for everything. And the moment the results were announced, there came the goosebumps thing. Because we couldn't uh, believe our eyes. Because even our uh, ACS College of Engineering, they know that we had no mentors by our side. It was only six of us who went there solely on our hands and we did it. We made the impossible possible. And this moment will be etched in my life forever till the end no matter wherever i go this moment is something that will stand in my head and this is how the grand finale works hope i didn't uh, bore you too much because uh, i thought i had to share my uh, smart india hackathon experience with you all and uh, maybe if this video was boring i have a vlog which he had already recorded last year and the link is upside here 
and always remember that consistency is the key and that has been our success formula and uh, no matter whatever the hurdles you face see that you are able to consistently work on the product and that consistency not only one member of the team it's all six of them working together that's what consistency is always remember this is one of my most favorite quote when it comes to team the strength of the team is each individual member and the strength of each individual member is the team hope you will understand that if you don't you will understand and uh, uh, great kudos to my team who were the main reason for us to win the smart india hackathon 2022 special thanks to shri vishnu priya and birzila cause when uh, three of my other members of the team when they stepped out they too were the ones who were as my pillar of confidence stating that no matter what we will go and do even if we three are there and then thanks to vetri bharat and gokul who came together and we did the unthinkable great thanks to this team and this will forever forever be memorable in my life and uh, hope uh, you give your best in the smart india hackathon 2023 and i have i hope i have covered everything in this whole series starting from the plan strategies what you have so to do in the finale the, the presence of mind how you need to network between all the people and uh, this will definitely be one hell of an experience Best of luck to all of you and if you have any queries regarding the hackathon please feel free to comment down Okay me Namak solution enna nu theriyada oru vishayatha enna edathula namm oru vishayatha thevai padudho andha edathula innu paatha dhaan theriyum adhu solution irukka illaya finals ku vandadhukku appuram dhaan anga solution irukka illaya theriyudhu adhala ulle irangadhukku munadiye velliye ninnu idhu solution kedaikuma kedaikadhu yosikadhu do your work solution dhaan kedaikadhu